<laughs> uh, it, it got a little elevated, I'll, I'll admit. You know, the, the masks, that's one of the few benefits of these things. They, uh, they kind of hide uh, exactly how you're, uh, you're feeling at the time. But I, um, ah, Rosie had it all the way, you know. <laughs> we were right where we wanted to be. Um, man, I just, uh, you guys are ter- tired of me talking about how, how proud I am of these guys and um, how they just keep coming. But that's that's so enjoyable to watch and be a part of and to listen and to watch just so much clean baseball today. You know, things, you know, that turn at the end, just a, a great exclamation point on a lot of things done well there. The positioning to put us in spots a number of times tonight. Um, Guys making plays, Frankie coming in, being aggressive, Mondi picking him in a big situation. Those big plays and big situations, we were talking about how there was that one thing that was always missing, whether it's that one pitch or the one play. We had many opportunities for that to go in different directions, and the guys came through and uh, ran the bases well. Just a all-around really good effort. Get to Brad in a minute here, but uh, the job that Barlow and Stamont did too, um, to you know put out the fire, basically. Yeah. Yeah, you know, Scott had the one pitch, I think, that uh, yeah. wasn't, wasn't what he was wanting to do after that. Uh, really, really buckled down and made some nice pitches. And Josh got himself into a tight spot. Loved watching him pitch through that. And uh, being able to strike out the side, even though got himself, his heart rate our heart rate might have been up a little bit too. But, um, you know, he's uh, he's just, he's he's. He's fun to watch. I love getting him back in there after last night. And, uh, you know, when he gets that hook going and, and the heater's jumping out of his hand, he's going to be tough on anybody. It seemed like Brad had trouble with his command a little bit, but, again, just made pitches when he had to and kind of a bulldog out there. Yeah, who would ever thought that uh, he would get through six innings, you know, with a couple of really long ones. The, the delay didn't help. He didn't really have a nice feel when he got back on the rubber. Um, but then, you know, I think he had a seven pitch inning and a 10 pitch inning and a, and a 15 pitch inning that got him right back to where we needed him to go a little deeper today. Uh, once again, we got a bullpen that we haven't been able to stretch and guys have been working really hard. Um, but th- this was, uh, this was the Brad Keller show for me, uh, the, the change up and, uh, on Shogo getting that that double play on a change up pitch and some good swings and misses throwing the change up for strikes. That's just going to make him um, even harder for people to handle because they can't just sit hard. Thanks, Skip. All right, Flanny. Hey, Mike, um, I know you, you and Trevor obviously go back a ways. Uh, did you spot anything when you went out there? Was it just a message you wanted to deliver when you went out there when, you know, things started to get a, a little, I don't even want to say sideways. They just started to get some guys on. Yeah, it was, um, you know, there's, there was a couple purposes. One was um, just to, to remind them a couple things that might happen, make sure we got things covered defensively. Um, also, just slowing things down. That's We've talked about that. It was interesting. We had a conversation this morning um, about, you know, just how important it is sometimes to, to change the rhythm. And uh, sometimes just to shoot them a little confidence that we know you're going to get through this. Make them aware of the situation. You got a hitter in Castellanos up right there that could be really dangerous. Let's make sure we're making smart pitches. So uh, that's basically the the gist of uh, what we wanted to cover. And then after that, Trevor, you beat Trevor, and uh, I like our odds. And about how locked in do you feel like Salvi is right now? I mean, he drove in three of the the runs tonight. I mean, the home run, and he hits double to go into the other gap. Yeah, and then gets the runner in early by putting the ball in play and just figuring out ways to make things happen. Uh, the swing to right center was just beautiful. And, you know, we'll take uh, we'll take the homers every time we can get them. But he just continues. How many balls he blocked in the dirt today? Tough, hard sliders down that he stayed right on top of. Um, he's doing it all. He's receiving the ball, just watching his progression of, of uh, handling the low pitch in the zone, how many balls he's making look better than what they are. We're just... Um, couldn't, we're just real, uh, real impressed with, with how Salvi's whole game looks right now. Mike, with where um, Franco was positioned there in that last double play and with the hop he got, is, is that, that the right play every time, or is he having to make a kind of a split, a 
decision right there. No, he's got to he's got to go to the middle, especially with his momentum going that way. And once again, you know, our, our guys have been doing a terrific job thinking outside the box and positioning. Look how many times, and, and it happened against us too. Some balls hit in spots where you don't normally see fielders, but they're doing a good job taking the information um, and, and using their instincts too to to be positioned in the right spot. But that's the exact right play, except you have to have an exceptional turn at second base, and that's exactly what we witnessed. What Nicky Lopez is doing all over the field. Um, taking walks, uh, doing little things right, making plays. Uh, he's changing the game by how he's going about it. Mike, offensively, I'm sure you would love the crooked numbers, but you guys made the leadoff runners score in five of the first six innings. Got to feel good. Yeah, th those uh, those sack flies, you know, that was getting caught in that first inning once again, kind of letting them off the hook a little bit. And then uh, next time we get guys on third, we start seeing either Salvi get the ground ball that, that scores and forces a tough play on the shortstop, uh, or we get the balls driven to the outfield with, uh, with Witt and O'Hearn, and O'Hearn's almost was, a, was one that cleared them all. But um, those kind of at-bats are what we've been harping on more than anything else. Guys, let's just be ourselves. Don't try and do too much. Just do what you can to, to scratch one of those runs, and you keep adding those on. It's just... It, it, it won, it adds to our momentum, um, but secondly, it takes away from them having it. And that's what's happened the last, especially last night, a number of times where it's it's a momentum shift where we've got them up against the wall, they get out of it, and now then they have an opportunity to run with it. Hey, Mike, uh, Ian had a rough night, obviously. What did you see there? Just location? Elevated. Um, balls up and balls up in this ballpark, um, they can hurt you. Uh, I haven't seen them again on, on video, but it just looked to me like they were a little bit not quite high enough to be that one that you get the swing through, which he can do, um, and uh, not down enough to, to keep the ball in the park. So it was, uh, we, we got to get him right. He's, he's a big piece to what we need to do here and obviously a big part of this club and um, going to get him back out there soon and hope to get his, uh, his confidence up more than anything else.